Hello? Hey, have you guys been to Byron Bay? No, but I heard it's a really nice beach getaway. Let's go! It's going to be a direct flight to Gold Coast and an hour's drive to Byron Bay. We are finally here in Australia. And we're headed for some... Stand up paddling! We're paddling along Brunswick River where it's calm and peaceful. Yes! Snorkeling time! <laughs> On the way to Cook Island, we got to see dolphins up close and personal. I've never experienced anything like this before. Getting to see turtles, even a leopard shark, all in their natural habitat. We're headed to Tropical Food World! Yeah. It actually kind of alters your taste buds and it blocks your senses so that you can't taste sour or bitter. You start eating things like lemons or limes and they taste sweet. This farm grows over 500 foods from all across the world. Here at Mavis's Kitchen, a lot of what is served comes directly from their garden. Yes. We're ending the day with a crabbing adventure tour. And you guessed it, we're going to catch a crab! Oh, oh wait, wait, yes! We caught crab! Oh! It's very goofy! Yay! It's 5.30 a.m. and we're waiting for the sunrise here at Cape Byron Lighthouse. It's the most easterly point in Australia. We get dibs on the sunrise. If you want to indulge a little, give Toast the Sun a shot. Have breakfast with the ultimate view. I've always, always dreamed of taking a helicopter ride. And that moment has finally come. We'll be passing by landmarks like Minion Falls and Cape Byron Lighthouse. Today we are kayaking in the open oceans of Byron Bay. It's another day and yet another water activity. But we're not complaining. Australia is huge about local produce and today we're here at the farm with our friendly guide, Tim. So really what we're trying to do here at the farm is educate people on the idea of from paddock to plate. So where your food comes from, the big one. We're here on a tour around Stone and Wood Brewery where they specialise in handcrafted beers born and raised in Byron Bay. Crystal Castle is the ultimate zen place. Think enchanted caves, world peace stupas, and the world's tallest geodes. It is not a trip to Byron Bay if you don't get to surf. So how can we pass that chance up? Our friendly surf instructor Blake is going to teach us some moves on the waves. Yay! The weekly farmer's market is an absolute food haven. It's only open once a week, so we were lucky today. It's not only about paddock to plate, it's also about paddock to bottle. You have to try their ink gin tonic. We're going horse riding into the sunset. Getting to ride these beautiful horses is the perfect way to end the day. Today, we're going to Newry Bar, just a short drive out of Byron Bay. Our first stop, Harvest to Newry Bar. They have a restaurant, a bakery, a garden, and a deli, all packed within their compound. Finally, Zenfeld's Coffee Plantation. Getting to see the whole process of making coffee here was quite the experience. Wow. And that's the end of our Byron Bay adventures. Bye!